Google's Chrome OS is for more than just Chromebooks. I'm Dan Ackerman, and this is the Lenovo ThinkCenter Chrome Box. Now, Chrome Box is what you call a computer that runs Google's Chrome OS, but is built into a desktop chassis rather than a laptop shape, and that's what Chromebooks are. Why would you want to have Chrome OS in a desktop? Well, that's a good question. Uh, its uses are actually fairly limited because with Chrome OS, you basically get a fancy version of Google's Chrome browser, a couple of very minor kind of uh, you know file and, and, and storage options, and that's really about it. It's meant to be an online only device, so you're basically surfing the internet all day, every day. Now, if you're at work, and that's what uh, uh, Lenovo's Think Center line is for, they're basically work computers, and you need to access uh, your company email, but it's a web-based email, well, that'll work, or use uh, cloud-based office things like, uh, like Microsoft's Office Online or Google Docs, that'll work also. Uh, if you need to do very specific things, like photo and video editing and using Photoshop, well, that's going to present a problem because you can't download and install apps on a Chrome OS system. You can, however, use cloud-based alternatives uh, like Pixlr and Polar for photo editing. Those actually both work fairly well. And you can also use the cloud versions of Microsoft Office. So you can use Google Docs, whether it's uh, uh, word processing documents or spreadsheets. And of course, you can do uh, media streaming on here just fine. Things like Spotify work well, as does Netflix. Uh, the reason why you'd want to get a Chrome OS desktop for you or your employees is because they're very inexpensive. Uh, this thing starts at about $200. We have a fancier version here that has an Intel Core i3 processor, a very mainstream, fairly powerful processor, and that's about uh, $300, a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on, on who's selling them online. And for that, you get the base unit. Um, it throws in a, a wired keyboard and mouse, nothing special there. Uh, you get a, a, an antenna you have to screw into the back if you want to use Wi-Fi instead of a wired internet connection. And this cool little stand, uh, you actually don't need the stand if you want this thing to stand up upright, it'll stay fairly well. Uh, you can also lay it down flat like this, uh, or even hide it behind your monitor. Lenovo makes a special monitor that this will just slot in and becomes almost like an all-in-one computer. Or of course, you can put it on the special stand like this, and it holds it at, at a decent angle, and you can get to the couple of ports in the front. Around the back, there's also a lot of other ports, two more USB 3s on top of the two USB 3s in the front, uh, Ethernet, obviously, HDMI, and DisplayPort. That's how you know it's a work machine. DisplayPort, that's very common in offices, not so much at home. Uh, so if you walk in in the morning and you find one of these on your desk, this is assigned to you as your work computer, you're probably not going to be too enthusiastic. It's not the most exciting computer in the world, but if you or your employees uh, just need to access online only tools and you don't want to spend a lot to do it, uh, this is certainly a fine way to get people online. I'm Dan Ackman and that is the Lenovo Think Center Chromebox.